Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for tuning in. And th in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get inside your Toyota Prius with a dead battery. Even though you have a key, but you still can't get to the, uh, you know, you still can't get inside of your car. Uh, stay tuned, I'll show you everything, what you need to do. And, uh, you know, we're gonna try this. This key fob comes with a manual key as well. So we're gonna try that as well. Hopefully that works. If not, we're gonna have to do some more steps into you know getting inside of this car so stay tuned guys also just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you um, and thank you so much for supporting my channel and just in general it really helps me a lot with uh, you know making more videos and stuff like that for you guys so uh, thank you so much for everything and don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and uh, you know check out my playlists and other videos I have a lot of content on my channel about cars and everything all right guys so here's the car and here's the key but the problem is that this battery is dead on this car okay this car has been sitting for probably like I don't know two months and the battery is dead the car is locked but when I press this the key fob the battery inside a key fob is good it's working but the car is locked you see the car is locked and the problem is that uh, this car only has one uh, cylinder tumbler uh, which is right here one lock cylinder tumbler uh, ignition cylinder is only located on this door there's nothing on the passenger door and nothing on the trunk lid so but as you can see this key fob comes with a manual key so we're gonna try that out and see if that works so just press this thing it and you actually pull this manual key out and then see if I can do it one-handed like that okay it literally just comes out and now we're gonna try to open this up we'll see if that works okay so here's the manual key okay install it one way and then you try to turn it okay but look what happens it doesn't turn all the way I think this is uh, how it turns it doesn't turn like all the way 90 degrees i think it turns only this much one way and the other okay but when i turn it this way to unlock i can't do anything you see this handle is hitting this key and the car i can't unlock it you know if i do this and take the key out it's still locked when i do this and go this way and take it out the car is still locked so i don't know what's the purpose of this key this is crazy you know this manual key should be opening the doors right now but it's not because the battery is dead so apparently there's like an electric actuator inside this uh mm, door lock assembly uh that's you know when you turn the key it's supposed to actually unlock um but it doesn't do that because the battery is dead so that really sucks okay literally i'm doing this and there's nothing and you know i'm not gonna you know if you try to put more pressure on this side or the other side to make it go all the way to 90 degrees it's not possible you're gonna break the key okay so the method of using a manual key <laughs> just doesn't work guys okay so that really sucks you can see this is locked and there's no way to get to the trunk either all right and there's nothing here you know, there's nowhere that you can, you know, put the manual key into, you know, and these license plates, uh, you can't really take out these license plate lamps, okay, because you can only do it from the inside of the trunk lid. So you can't even apply power uh, to those two uh, power and ground wires of those license plate uh, lamps. So that really sucks too, all right. And the hood is stuck shut. Uh, so another thing would be to probably try to, uh, you know, lift up the car in the front end, lift up the front end, just try to go underneath the car and uh, maybe try to pop that, um, you know, just pull on that hood cable. I don't know if you can actually get to that on this car. And there's also a splash shield that you have to remove before you can do anything underneath. So uh, there, that's, you know, I'm really not sure if I'll be able to do that. So most likely, most likely what I'm going to have to do is probably uh get inside this car just uh by literally breaking into it you know um. so one of the ways that uh I, you can do it is uh, you can you know break the glass 
uh, break the side glass but I really don't want to do that and uh, you know you can try to go underneath and try to pull on the cable of you know try to pull on the hood cable and see if the hood pops open then if that happens then you can apply you know you can just jump the battery uh, from under the hood uh, but uh, I don't think I'll be successful with that so most likely what, what I'm gonna have to do in this case of this car which is crazy and pretty upsetting is I'm gonna have to you know just literally um, be a locksmith <laughs> you know I've never done this before but I'm probably gonna have to just literally uh, slightly pry the door open and try to uh, use a long rod and just open the door that way because I don't see any other ways of doing it and then this car needs a lot of more work it needs new tires installed it needs uh, probably a, a new battery because it has two batteries it has a big battery and it has a small battery so I think that small battery is going bad so and you know it sucks the car was sitting for two months so probably that's why the battery went bad you know it hasn't been uh, driven or anything like that so anyways let's let's get to this thing and yeah uh, if you have a uh, this year previous this is 2016 previous uh, so uh, this video might help you out but if you have an older one you might be able to get to it much easier using a manual key so try your manual key first and see if it works okay before you do anything else stay tuned so <laughs> this is the only thing we have to do right now is we have to I have this kit and we're gonna try to open this door like that because there's no other way to open this card so and you know I'm not a locksmith but I'm gonna try to do what I can to open this car because there's no other way I mean the manual key doesn't unlock this. Uh, there are no other uh, locks on the car. The trunk doesn't have a uh, manual lock key or tumbler. Nothing. And the hood is shut closed. So this really sucks, but I don't know. I'm gonna try to do something here. Try to open this car. Uh, see what this thing is. Let's see if I can shove this thing in there. bad through this thing. I gotta go more in there. That's crazy. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's going on? You guys like the key inside? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Just gotta go through the seal. some brainstorming I'm also not trying to break this door as well or bend it too much so this is crazy so we have these uh, pumps right here and then this long tool with the hook hoping to be able to uh, get that unlocked I feel like it's going to be really difficult. Let's see? That's oh, right here. Uh, wow, so this is not easy whatsoever. Rod is just not hard enough or something, so it's, <laughs> it's not hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That sucks, man. Let's see. 
Ah. <laughs> You're an animal. I am. Trying to break inside this car, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. Please, like a hook or something. Maybe that will give it more grip. I don't know. This is the worst thing. I, I really don't like doing it this way. It's right there. Okay. One eternity later. Ah, finally got it to open. This thing literally ate all my nerves. Okay, everything is good here. Uh, I scored the paint a little bit, so I'll have to uh, put the touch of paint ASAP on here. Okay, but it was a little difficult, I mean, because I only have this tool. All right. And I just literally had to go and just, you know, work it around like this. So I finally got it to open. All right, and put some electrical tape because I was trying to like get a better grip on, but this is too slick, so it didn't help me. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, with these tools, I was able to open it, you know. So right now, um, I'll just have to, again, open the hood have to open the hood and I'll have to leave at least one of the doors open right now till I can get to the battery and fix all this stuff you know this is a 2016 car but you know it was sitting for maybe like two months um, and yeah I have to start it up charge the battery right now but at least uh, I was able to open this this damn door um, so at least that's good this is not for me some of this is just dirty the, the car in general is just dirty and needs a lot of cleanup but my main thing is I want to make sure that I leave this thing open right now. I don't want to run into the same situation again. Alright. As you can see, the door is pretty good from here. It's just a little bit of a gap right now on this side if you come and show them. Uh, but I can just push it in carefully and eventually it's gonna be nice and uh, flat again. Unfortunately, this is what happens when you have to call a locksmith most of the time and uh, do this kind of stuff. So, and like I said, it really sucks because you cannot really, let's go show them, uh, you cannot really get to the license plate uh, lights to even try to like, you know, take them out or jump, you know, give uh, directly the power from the battery or something because you cannot undo those uh, license plate lamps or anything. Um, so yeah, but at least this car is open right now. I'll have to do uh, quite a bit of work on it. I also need new tires. The tires are shot on it. It still super, has a spare on this side too. And it has, yeah, it has, a, it has a spare on this side, you know. Just my buddy was asking me to uh, help him out, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are having issues and you can't open your car, your Prius when the battery is uh, dead, I mean, this is probably one of the options you're gonna do, unless you have an older Toyota Prius. Uh, so you might be able to actually unlock it with your manual key, you know, but this is 2016 Prius and as you can see it doesn't have any cylinder locks here or, any, or anything like that, nothing on the trunk lid either way. So when the battery is dead, you can't do anything. You just have to break into the car basically. Okay, so the car is opened up and the hood is open, so I'll test the battery. Uh, but mo most likely this battery is just bad i might have to jump it and let it run for a while so the battery gets charged up and look at this tiny little filter in there isn't that crazy have you seen a filter that small before oh yeah so anyways right now the main thing is to make sure that i leave this car uh, opened up and the hood uh, not closed all the way that that way i can come back to this thing tomorrow and you know start working on it 
All right, we have 20 volt scale. Um, just wanted to see where this battery is at. I have a bad feeling about this battery. Yep, 1.75. Battery's super dead, but I have a battery jumper. I'm gonna jump it and we're gonna try to start this thing and let it run for quite a while. See if it actually recovers the battery itself, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to replace this battery. This is charged up. Let's go try to start this thing. Brake pedal. Start it. Now I'm gonna remove, disconnect this battery. So the engine is running. She's alive finally after three months or so. Lights are working, everything. So I'm probably gonna have to replace this battery, but I'm gonna let it run. Anyways. Battery is charging. All right, guys. So right now I have the clear coat, Mercedes-Benz clear coat that I'm gonna use on a couple of these spots where the paint got a little bit scratched up. So I'm gonna use that just to make sure that this doesn't start rusting or anything. I do not have the silver paint right now. That's why I'm just gonna touch it up with uh, Mercedes-Benz clear coat. All right. Right now, like this. And then we're gonna let it dry before closing the door. And then we're gonna know this thing is gonna be safe and sound. It's not gonna cause any rust problems. All right guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out my playlist and a lot of other videos that I post every week on my channel. I hope you enjoy uh, the video series. And thank you so much for all your support and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.